What's up everybody, my name is Cody Rattler and welcome back to episode 5 of Shadow of the Colossus. We are back to one of my favorite Colossus of them all. Uh, we have a flying Colossus to take care of today guys. This thing is a giant bird. Uh, basically like a falcon thing. It's kind of a intense battle. Heads up. Uh, this one also has to do with a, a large lake. Uh, I mentioned in a previous episode, but I don't like the large bodies of water that are included in this game. Fortunately, there's not going to be anything that I can do about that with this one. Uh, again, this is like a giant eagle that flies over a lake, so there's not much in the lake. I mean, there's nothing in the water that I need to worry about, but it does suck falling off of this thing. Uh, I've been talking to some friends recently, and some people have told me that this is not one of their favorites because of how easy it is to fall off. And once you do fall off, it's like repeating the whole damn thing. Um, but unlike the fourth one, it's not an issue getting on the Colossus. So, I don't know, it's kind of a wash in my opinion. Ooh, before we get there though, we are going to be stopping at this quick little temple. I don't think I've mentioned it in any of the episodes up until now, but uh, these altars are save points. They basically restore your health and your stamina. But on each altar, there's almost always going to going to be uh, one of those blue tailed lizards. So whenever you come across one, whether you decide to save or not, I would take the time just to look at it, scope it, even stare at it for a few seconds because each of these blue lizards is like on their own little path. It's not the same every single time. So that being said, you got to try to walk around until you do find it. There it is. Damn it. So the thing I mentioned previously is these little bastards don't necessarily die on the first hit. But you can hit them with an arrow and they can get up and just keep running. That worries me because I think I already hear him. That little jerk. I can hear like pitter patters. I don't know if you guys can hear that in the audio. Come on. You can climb. Oh no. Cool. I got him on the first shot. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm crazy. Oh no, I shot his tail off. You see? You see that, guys? He can live, but I guess you can shoot his tail off if you get lucky. That goes to show that I am not wrong in saying that... I am not wrong in saying that the lizards can survive an arrow hit. Uh, but if you get lucky, you might just hit their tail and you don't have to kill them. I'm not about killing lizards, I just want their tails. That's all. Yeah. That's yeah. all. Can you not understand that? Okay, before I go in here, I'm just making one quick look. Uh, we have a big tree. Guys, I'm making one more pit stop. You can't blame me. And if you do, then whatever. Yo, so this is like the third type of fruit that I've seen so far. I didn't realize there was different types. This one looks like a... A bunch of pears in one. There's a lot of fruit on this tree, guys. This is a freaking steal. This is gonna be a massive increase on stamina. Like I said, uh, what was that? A beautiful little blue butterfly. Uh, like I said, uh, each of these trees throughout the world, I'm pretty sure you can only get the fruit off of them once. Which is why it's important to like explore and go to various trees. You guys see the bottom right, my health? That thing is increasing significantly. I've never seen a tree with like seven fruit on it like this. I mean, I haven't played the game in years and I never actually beat the PS4 version. So it's another perk of playing it with you guys. We get to experience awesome remake together. I only got like, I probably got about this far in the remake when I first picked it up. Uh, I guess I'm not tall enough to take that on. Alright, we picked up the last of our fruit. I'm pretty sure there's nothing else on this tree, so we are gonna stop stalling- What the- Dude, where are you going? How did you go from 0 to 60 and- I'm right in front of you. Yeah! Yeah! What spooked you? What was I saying? Goddamn. I think uh, I was saying we want to just come back to the Colossus. Alright, my guess is going to be this crevice in the mountain. 
Yep. Just like that, we're already here. Dang, this is another very close Colossus. Um, God, already I feel uncomfortable. Alright, horse. You do you. Oh, uh, here we go with the water. And it's looking more and more real. Every time this game is re-released. Uh, Alright, guys. We're going to be swimming over here into this somewhat obvious entrance. I don't even know if you can go underwater. Can you go underwater? Can you go underwater? Oh yeah, if you hold R2 you can stay underwater. I don't know if that really does anything. You can only go underwater like a foot. You can't like continue to swim down. Which is cool for people like me that don't want to be in the water at all. Okay. Okay guys, we're almost there. We're almost there. Drum roll. Brrrr. Oh lordy. Look at this thing. It's like a giant like middle body with huge wings and then one long ass tail. Look at that. Tell me that's not like a falcon of some sorts. Again, the hardest part is going to be staying on this guy. Definitely one of the coolest. No doubt. That is one of the coolest colossi there are. Okay, now we've got this really long, annoying swim. Oh god, guys. <laughs> Look at this, being underwater. Oh, the anxiety. Oh. I'm sorry for everybody that I'm doing this to. <laughs> Myself included. Oh, I just noticed that the stamina bar is essentially your breath. That's pretty cool. You can hold your breath for quite a while, dang. Get them lizard tails. That's a secret to holding your breath. Alright. Now, this is pretty easy. It's not hard getting on this guy's back. Okay, for whatever reason I thought the arrow was going to arch more, so I aimed up, but clearly that's not the case. Oh lordy, here we go. Oh, I'm so stupid. Okay, guys. Realistically, I thought it made most sense to be on the sides because the hair on his body is on the sides, but... Oh, I didn't use the grab button. Okay, okay. So far, I'm not doing the best with these colossi. Just come on back. God, he is not having it. All right, jump and grip. Yeah, there we go. Third time's the charm, right? I promise you guys I've played this game before. But in my defense, it's been years. Oh my lord, this would be terrifying as someone who hates heights. Okay, first things first, I'm going to take out your wings. We have a weak spot on both ends of his wings, and then on the very end of his tail. It makes the most sense to get the wings first. We started up here. Ooh, here goes. Oh man, and when you stab his wings, he likes to go upside down. Guys, I don't think I would have, like, the, the power to hang on with my arms like this. Oh god, and now he's gonna do it again. Oh no, he's... he's ascending? He's getting higher? Okay, he's flattened out. Run to the other wing! No! Stay low. Because, like, swear to god, if you were to jump right now, you would just lose it all. Okay, he's turning. Hold on. Oh, 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 lordy! Alright guys, I'm embarrassed to say that I fell off. Don't do that. Don't fall off. To those of you that told me this one was annoying, you're right. I knew it. I knew it, but... There have been a handful of times I've been able to beat it without falling off, so... If you don't suck at it, like I do... You might just be set. Where is he? Where is he? God, this is terrible. Okay. Can you imagine he just comes up from the water? Ah! Surprise, motherfucker. Alright. Alright. We can do this. We can do this. 
Ooh, those eyes went from blue to red. He went from normal to attack mode. I'm telling you guys, when the eyes go red, they're mean in business. Okay, here we go. Load! God, do you see the water effect too? I don't think that was in PlayStation 2. Like the whenever the first version of this game came out. There's no way that the waves looked that real. It had that like massive wave effect. Oh no! What are you doing, you idiots? Alright, now before stupidly falling off this guy. I was trying to make it over to this left wing. I need to wait until he stops flying upwards and stops flying sideways. Uh, yeah, if you can just flatten out and not flap your wings. Oh. Okay, we got it. Raise thy sword and snap! Okay, guys, we got two wings. I apologize for falling twice now. I owe it to you guys to be better at this. I owe it to you to be better than this! Oh god, we're falling. Oh god, we're falling. Oh no! Okay, okay, get your, get your stamina back, get your stamina back. Oh lord, oh lord. Okay, okay. Okay, guys, I don't know how I did that. We were taking this son of a bitch out. I was just about to fully embarrass myself, and uh, I didn't have to do that. Thank God I didn't have to do that. Die, you son of a bitch! This is it! Mm. Mm. The sound of metal to Colossus flesh. Ugh. I feel like with each episode I become more and more cynical. I started out feeling bad for these guys, but man. I'm trying to film an episode here. I'm gonna stop embarrassing myself. You're making a fool out of me. Oh god, this is terrifying. I can't get out of the water and there's... Oh god, I don't know where it's coming from. Uh... 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 Oh god, there it is! Oh my god. There is no escaping the darkness. Yo, did you hear that? I usually just keep these parts out at this point, but uh, you guys hear that voice? I don't know what the hell that was, but that was definitely a, a female voice. And so far the only female that I know of is the maiden we're trying to revive. Can we just tap onto the other side there for a second? Is this like one of those uh, Full Metal Alchemist like plots where to give life you've got to take life and we're taking 16 colossi life. I don't know, but I heard her talking. She's on the other side of the void. Uh, and yeah, number five is done. So we're on to hearing about number six. A giant lurks underneath the temple. Hmm, I don't remember this one. Not off the bat. Lust for destruction, but a fool it is not. I don't remember off the top of my head if I think I have the right one in mind. I think this is one that's like a four-legged lizard thing. It's very destructive, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, guys, that, uh, that wraps up episode five. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave the video a like. Uh, I don't want the outros to sound too boring or too repetitive. I don't want you guys to get tired of hearing me have these outros, but in all seriousness, I really do appreciate that you guys are watching these videos. I appreciate that you've watched this series. I hope you guys enjoyed The Legend of Zelda, all my one-off videos that I'm doing. Uh, and this channel continues to grow. I'm at 81 subscribers at this moment. We are on the road to 100. And I know that's kind of small fry in the grand scheme of things, but I don't know. I'm very humble and appreciative of everybody who's been helping at this point. So, yeah, with that, we're going to end episode five. Da Just kidding. Thanks, guys. Uh, adios, guys, right after filming episode five. I realized you could do this. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs>